I'm Kate. I'm Abong. And I'm Sonia. And, and today we're dishing with you at B. Smith's, which is located at Union Station. And there's all this amazing southern Louisiana style food. And fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes, which is a lot Lobster. better than the movie. And you have the bacon sticking out of the beans. I can't. It we haven't talked about right. the salad. How come we deal. haven't talked about the salad? Well, because it's when because you think about southern food, you're just about thinking salad. about red beans and rice yeah. and fried green tomatoes. They're like almons and pecans. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's a great lobster. salad. You should lobster. come here for everything. Yeah, forget it. Lobster. Yeah, lobster. Okay. Lobster. Just keep what's important. Well, our guest today is just as important as the food. His name is Stephen Harrell, and he is the owner of bicycle stations. Now, Stephen, tell us what bicycle stations are. Well, what it is is a uh, little boutique bicycle store in Washington, D.C. on 14th Street. Uh, we sell Highline road bikes for cyclists, uh, fittings, uh, things of that nature, full service department. Um, and as you know, that now D.C. is one of the friendliest areas for bicycle. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do, and that's where we are. Well, sort of off topic, I have a question for you. What are the rules of being a driver when you're dealing with and I say dealing with because I'm always scared whenever I see a bicyclist. I know you're supposed to stay 10 feet away from them. 10 feet where, how, should oh, they be darting in question. and out of traffic? Just in general, how yeah. should you, as a well, biker, how should you react to? One, if you're biking in the bike lane, okay. you're following the same signs as, as a car driver. So you need to stop at the stop sign, stop at the red lights, yield, uh, put the hand signals on the whole nine yards. It's sometimes difficult. It's just it's, like a, a nor any other driver. Right. It's just like walking. The, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're walking across the street, you're gonna look both ways. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we hit potholes, we still fall. Yeah. So you never know. Wow. So, so are you an advocate of share the road? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely. not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal. I really can't deal. I, I remember this one time I was driving to Georgetown, and these guys were they were they didn't yield to the, they didn't yield. They didn't stop at stop signs. They didn't stop at the red lights. They ran through the lights and everything else by by K Street and by um, by waterfront K Street K, K but by the waterfront. <laughs> I had to, but by the waterfront, it was crazy, and so they get in your way, and I, I, I'm really tentative because I'm afraid I'm going to run somebody over, and at the end of the day, it's going to be my fault. Oh, yeah. well, I think bikers in D.C. are pretty savvy. I think they can stay out of your way. Well, Maybe not Avon's way. Tell yeah, us what bikers would do well, in that situation. I, I mean, I do believe that when cyclists are on the road, we feel like we own it. True. Um, however, you have to respect the cyclists, because if you do run over one, it's going to be your fault. Yeah, I agree. Um, but, you know, if they are just being wrong, yeah. I mean, it's just it's not worth it. Just stop, let them go, have a little patience. So what was your what was your background before you started bicycle stations? I was stations? actually in real estate. I was doing commercial real estate. I would not be surprised. I was, I, the reason I say that is I was thinking you probably were in a, in a, in a profession kind of like, so like mine as a CPA where you were doing something else and all of a sudden you decided to go into something that was a little bit more freer and Definitely. where it was more along the lines of what you were looking for. The life. open road. The open road. Well, you know, in 2006, I uh, decided to get out of commercial real estate. And um, I was traveling a lot. I was going to Central America and visiting friends, um, one in the Richmond area who owns bicycle stores as well. And then Central America, because my wife is from Central America. And I just started riding there a lot. And I found that you know, it was something I wanted to do. So I started looking in the DC area. And as I was looking at all these bike lanes, all the cycles, why not open a store in Washington, DC? And I wanted it to be different. I wanted it to be more you know, of a clean shop, you come in the door, the music is playing, it's more relaxing atmosphere, you can sit down, you're not rushed. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we do, we take the time with our customers. So it's, you have a number of stores. I've been to the what? one on 14th Street a couple of times because I like to go and look and think, I'd like to ride one of those, it would be so nice. And then I get on the <laughs> metro and I think, why didn't I buy one? Yeah, right. um, but you carry some crazy bikes. I mean, Definitely. is there really a market for those bikes in the D.C. area? Not the just recumbent are, bike? Are you talking about the recumbent bike? I mean, <laughs> there are some bikes in there that are professional bikes. Right. Well, you have bikes now. If you're looking for a road bike, you want to budget at least $4,000. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, wait. What oh, is a road right. bike? Is, does that mean a commuting? No. Bi commuting or? bike. A commuter bike is totally different. The okay. roads are larger. Tires are a little thicker. A road bike is when you see the guys riding, or women riding with, you know, they're cyclists, riding mm -hmm. with the skinny tires and the drop handlebars. And like a Bianchi or something like that. We sell Bianchi, okay. exactly. I was going to so, say like a... You know, we're the Bianchi dealer Livestar. here in Washington, oh, D.C. Okay. And, but when you're looking for a road bike to do any type of triathlons or you know, just mm -hmm. long distance, you need to budget about $1,000. Wow. I mean, you have to. Bikes are now from anywhere from 1000 to 30000 So you can't just go and buy a... Buffet and well, you can go to <laughs> some stores and, and buy that, but you know, overall, you know, by the time you come to us for the service and the problems you're having and the aches that you're feeling, you're so it's like getting a doctor, a, a, a car dealership. 
your oil change, it's you the want mechanic. to put, you know, your mechanic, you want to get all of Everything. that information. You have to be solid. It's very important. Buying a bike is one thing. Our job is to fit you to the bus. Hmm. That's very important because if you're not fit, fit it properly to the bike, you're going to get all the aches and pains. You're not going to feel comfortable. You're not going to like cycling. But if you are taking the time to one shop, to find the perfect bike for you, and then you're fitted to that particular bike, you're comfortable, you love it. You That's amazing. It just shows you have a, 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 a deeper, or more rich service than a holistic just... holistic view yeah, of biking. Yeah, exactly. More, rather than just going to some random other sports store and buying a bike that's hanging over there yeah, and, and you don't know what you're doing and break your neck. We take the time break and your neck. educate you towards it. Just yeah. like the customer is going to educate you. They know what they want when they mm -hmm. walk in. They want a bike. They're not just walking on <laughs> the street <laughs> saying that, you know, even if you, I can talk you into buying one. What about a helmet? <laughs> what about a helmet? Very important. Very important. Extremely well, you important. have to buy a helmet, but is there like different types? There's all types? different types of helmets, and they all pass the safety features, so mm -hmm. it's very important to have a helmet. Kids have to have a helmet. Adults, sometimes they don't want to have a helmet, but we recommend always that you have a helmet. It's, 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 it's so important. I've had the opportunity to fall, and trust me. The opportunity to fall. <laughs> exactly. And, and the uh, opportunity to get back up. I've had that helmet. opportunity. <laughs> it's the name of a book. We boast that DC is a walkable city. We talk about it being a walkable city, but you know, I don't know, it's a pretty small city, but I don't know that I really want to walk the whole thing. Biking it <laughs> seems more appropriate, I guess. Yes. And, and there's been a number of initiatives here in the DC area to, to get people to bike. Um, we have the, the bike stations, around, you have the bicycle stations, Lots but the, the renting stations, um, a lot more people are renting. Can the they union stations where they rent bikes, and they also rent at our store as well. So you can rent too. You can rent as well. Uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars for the day um, to have a you know, nice beach cruiser to go around the, the city. Um, and do you ever do any kind of bike rides that everybody get together, go we from bicycle stations? We had one last Saturday. We had over 70 people this year. Where'd you guys go? We Where? started at 14th and W. We went to around to the, the mall area, uh, Union Station. It was beautiful. Absolutely I love amazing. that. I love that. I've done it before. It's Enjoying a nice spring and summer day on yep. your bicycle. We will look forward to that. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank Check you. out Bicycle Stations. There's a number of them around town. My favorite one's on 14th Street. because We'll it's be seeing you there. Metroable to get there. Um, but I, if I had a bike, I would just bike. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for checking us out and see who we're dishing with right here next time on The District Dish.